Welcome back everyone to AHSAA TV Weekly. We are excited to welcome to our program now AHSAA Director of Officials, Ken Washington. Welcome, Ken. Hey, thank you. How are you? Doing great. We understand that you've got some exciting news to share uh, coming out of the Central Board of Controls, uh, news to share with the officials around the state. So go ahead. Uh, yeah, we, uh, the Central Board just approved a uh, pay increase and uh, they received travel, officially received travel uh, as well. And uh, we formed a task force and uh, got some comparison numbers to our surrounding states. And uh, right now we're number one. Uh, in our section three, which includes uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Florida. And uh, right now we sit at number one in all of our sports and we're really close in track. So at least about nine to $10. That is fantastic news. And I should mention that um, it's not only fantastic news, it's fantastic news for the 6,300 officials throughout the state, which is actually a larger number than I expected it to be. So this is great news. Um, Ken, tell us when do these pay increases go into effect? Um, they'll start in August, uh, beginning of the school year, go in effect. Uh, right now, what I'm hearing across our state, uh, we have a lot of uh, excited officials about the increase. Uh, um, they not only got an increase there, we had an administrative increase that would go to their association uh, and they'll be able to do whatever they feel the need to do with that administrative fee and they can use it to uh, recruit officials by maybe buying their supplies when they first get started or uh, banquet certificates, things of that nature or additional training for travel. Uh, so we're going to leave that up to the local association on how they want to distribute that money. But I think it's pretty good uh, that the board and the task force felt that it was a need for that. Okay, Ken, you mentioned the recruiting of officials. So tell us what exactly goes into the recruiting of officials around the state. Um, man, we try to dab into some of uh, I love everything. Uh, we try to uh, announce it at our championships. We actually show a video over the Jumbotron, give some information there. If you're going to Opelika, Auburn, you may pass a billboard or two that's asking uh, people to, to officiate. Uh, word of mouth, of course, uh, radio ads. Uh, I also go into universities and, and teach for an hour. And uh, after teaching uh, fundamentals of officiating, I try to get them to sign up, show them some fees and things of that nature. But uh, we try to do a little everything. We don't try to stay in the box. We try to get outside of it. And uh, right now, we are in an increase of uh, getting all the numbers up. So uh, the goal right now for me is uh, long term goals right now is 10 grand. I mean, 10, 10 grand, 10,000 uh, officials. Uh, but if we can get to eight, that would be awesome. Well, that is fantastic news. And, you know, Ken, you mentioned some of the advertising that goes on around the state. And I've seen it um, not only through this show, but just organically, I've seen some things around the state. And I always find it fascinating that part of what you use to recruit officials is speaking directly to fans about how their behavior affects the recruitment of officials. And, you know, um, I think we realized, you know, through COVID, what the meaning of essential services, essential people in our lives are. And as much as we all love high school sports here in the state of Alabama, those officials are essential to our enjoyment of sports. There has to be officials for there to be sports. And so um, talk a little bit about fan behavior and how that plays in to, uh, you know, your, your goal to recruit more officials. Yeah. So it's so funny that you bring up COVID because once, um, we were into baseball season about two weeks in and COVID hit, which uh, across our state and across our nation, uh, sports stopped. And as we continue to go on months after months and wasn't sure if we were gonna start our season on time or not have sports. And everybody was like, just, hey, we want sports. You know, everybody wanted to, to come back and uh, we was having problems with officials and everybody was encouraging. And once we got able to play, then it's like that part went out of the window. And so it got real competitive real quick. And uh, I'm a father of two. So I I know how I like my kids. They're not, they're not athletes, but when they do something, I'm like she should be our friend or, or he should be doing this. Or, you know, we just want the best for our kids. And the parents get a little bit, uh, go across the line a little bit. Uh, they only see one side. And the thing is, these officials are human. They got nine to five, just like anyone else. And a lot of them are just trying to help out. And it's unfortunate that some of them get ran off because uh, 
they are there to help, help out. And if they're not going to be appreciated, then why do it? And for the money that they get and get berated, they just don't feel like it's worth it. Well, I'm glad we could cover that because I do think that's so important. Um, we thank you for everything that you're doing there at the association uh, to recruit and retain these officials so that we can enjoy the sports that we love. Um, we're excited to, to help spread the news about this pay increase because, of course, that will help in recruiting some new officials there as well. But we especially just thank you for your time being here with us today. All right. Thank you guys for spreading the news for us. We always appreciate you. And we'll be right back after this on AHSAA TV Weekly.